Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I hope you all are preparing well for the exam. And here I am in this video, I'm going to talk about time management for the exam. Now, this video is going to be super important. I have uploaded it earlier also, but I'm just making it more concise, more to the point from CSIR perspective. And I'm going to discuss a method, a way of approaching exam, which is going to solve a lot of problems which you face uh, related to time management in the exam. So there are two major things which we uh, believe that a student faces during uh, exam like uh, which is related to the time during the exam. The first uh, problem is that they don't get sufficient time or they think that the time is not sufficient enough. Uh, they miss some questions at the end. That means uh, that uh, the time goes uh, faster and they are not even able to see all the questions. Okay, that's one thing. And the second question, uh, second problem which they face is panic because they don't know how much time they have to dedicate to a particular section, how much time they have to dedicate to a particular question. In that way, they waste more time on a particular section or in a particular question and that just reduces the time for the other sections and that just, you know, at the end of the exam, they just get panic and they start either doing wrong questions or they either start leaving easy questions. So that is what we are going to solve in this particular video. I'm going to suggest you a particular method. This method has been used by me. It has been used by my students also earlier and I have got very good response from them. Do let me know if any one of you have used this method earlier in the exam and have got a good result. Okay, because many of you in the previous video when I uploaded it, many of you have responded very nicely over there. Okay. So this method is actually a tried and tested method which has been taken out from a topper of AIEEE exam. Uh, AIEEE was an exam lot back. It used to be one of the exam for engineering entrance uh, when IIT, JE and mains were not. IIT, uh, JE, mains and advanced were not there. That time uh, AIEEE and IIT, JE were two exams for that. Okay, so let's leave that part. But yeah. Uh, so this method has been taken uh, from the topper of AIEEE exam, but this has been modified according to CSI net. Okay, this method is called as uh, two phase uh, like method or you can say two round method. In this method, we try to solve a particular section in two rounds. Okay, uh, so it is super useful, especially for MCQs type of exams, like those exams which are competitive, where you have computer based, uh, you know, interface, and you have limited time, you have to solve multiple choice questions. So for these type of exam only, this method is you going to be useful. And most of the exams like CSI net gate, uh, TIFR, uh, TIFR is more of conceptual, so I would not say to use this method in TIFR, but yeah, CSR net gate, uh, even for uh, geoscientist pre exam, these, for all these exams, you can use this particular method. Okay. So, how does this method works? I'm going to discuss about it from the perspective of CSR net. When gate exam will come, I'll talk about it from the gate perspective, but right now, let's talk about it from CSR net perspective. Okay. So, uh, there are three sections, you all know, section C, where you have 60 questions, out of those 60, you have to do 25. There are uh, There is section B, where you have 40 questions, out of those 40, you have to do 35. And there is section A, where out of 20 questions, you have to do 15, okay. So, overall, in the paper, you have 120 questions, out of those 75 questions is the number of questions which you have to do. So, in order to choose those 75 questions or in order to let's talk about C, uh, part C first of all. So out of those 60 questions, in order to choose those 25 questions, you have to go through all the 60 questions, right? Uh, the trivial method or the just normal method which students generally use is like they go to the question number one of section C, they start solving it. Let's say they were able to do it then uh, or let's say they don't they know half of it or they just get stuck in the calculation they took a lot of time in that question then they went to the other one and like that they are doing question one by one in this method uh, in the trivial method in normal method what happens that you don't know what is going to come next you don't know whether whatever topics because we all know we all go for the exam not in a way that we have studied everything uh, there are students who might have studied organic inorganic there are students who might have studied physical inorganic or might have studied organic and uh, physical which is very rare but yeah uh, generally student take two subjects they study them in detail and the third one they just take it as a you know as a topic where they don't study it in that detail but yeah they have just overview or the uh, general knowledge of that particular third part so that is where that becomes very important for them to first of all segregate those 24 five questions of section c and as i have discussed in my previous video if you have not watched that regarding uh, you know how to score 150 marks the link is there in the i button please watch that video how you can make 
how you can score or how you can attempt 150 plus marks in the exam so there also i have said that section c is the most important you have to solve questions 25 22 questions in section c so you have to segregate that so now let's talk about our method okay our uh, two round method how does that works so what we will do in this particular method let's say we start from section c when we get the question paper we will straight away go to section c and we will start the paper from there and not now what we will do in the first oh, first of all let us divide the time okay so for section c we will just do just give 90 minutes 90 to 100 minutes not more than that okay we don't have to waste more time on section c 90 to 100 minutes is more than enough for solving section c okay now out of those 90 minutes first 30 minutes you are just going to read every question one by one okay you you are just going to go through every question one by one you will go to the first question of section c you will read that question then uh, you will now judge that whether that question you know the answer of that let's say the first question came from chemical kinetics you have studied chemical kinetics you know that you will be able to answer it but you will need a little bit of time to solve it don't just start solving it mark for review and go to the next question okay the next question comes let's say from thermodynamics you have studied thermodynamics you know the answer of it but you know that okay it will take time it will take a little bit of time to solve that question again mark for review and go to the next next question came from reaction mechanism let's say you have not studied reaction mechanism skip the question just go to the next question no need to waste your time on that okay because there will be more questions there are 60 questions you will be getting more questions over there okay so in this way you will go to the question one by one and along with that let's say you get a question from uh, uh, f block or let's say you got a question from bio organic which is super simple you have just read the question and you got the answer or there is a one of the question let's say from solid state which is from previous years or any topic let's say a question came which is from the previous year of exam and you know the answer you know the direct answer of that you can mark that answer also okay mark and go to the next one so in these 30 minutes what we are doing first of all we are reading all the questions we are reading all the 60 questions we are going through all the 60 questions second thing what we are doing we are segregating those questions which topics we have studied from or those questions which are favorable to us okay and third thing what we are doing we are answering those questions which we know directly okay so by the end of 30 minutes you will be having a list of questions or you will be having mark of those questions which you know already or which you which topics you have studied okay now it becomes super simple for you to take out 25 questions from there there will be 25 or there will be more than 25 questions from there now you have to choose 25 best 25 from those marked question which you have marked in this section c okay so now you are going to give the next 60 minutes 30 minutes are done in 30 minutes three things we have done we have went through all the questions second thing we have uh, marked the answers which we know already easy ones and the third thing which we have done is we have mark those questions those topics the question from the topics which we have studied okay the next 60 minute we will dedicatedly give to those questions which we have marked and we will solve and we will answer those questions so by the end of 90 minutes 90 to 100 minutes of section c by the end of that time we will be having a set of 25 to 22 questions from section c which we know which we have answered and which we are satisfied with okay so by this what is the benefit of it the first and the most important benefit is you will not be uh, skipping any question it will not happen that at the end you have missed any question or uh, when you come out of the examination hall somebody says oh did you did that question from orgel diagram and you are like where well, was there a question from orgel diagram this happens every time okay so this is not going to happen if you follow this method because you will be reading every question uh, you you might you will you would have judged the questions okay and uh, that's the first thing that's the first benefit and the second benefit is that you will not be having that panic attack you know that okay there are questions which i all uh, actually know there will be no suspense now okay because see when you go in the trivial method by one by one for every question every next question is a suspense but here in the first 30 minutes all your suspense is gone now you know what the question paper is what level of questions has been asked this year what are the topics from where the questions are asked and how many questions you know okay so that's how 90 minutes we will be done with section c now the time comes for section b section b you have 40 questions 40 questions they don't require that much of you know de uh, in-depth calculation and all but yeah still 40 questions are there and out of those 40 questions 35 you have to do now you have to give 60 minutes out of those 60 20 minutes you have to give in the same way you have to go through every question one by one you have to answer those which you already know which are easy ones 
and you have to mark those which are from your topic okay so in this way 20 minutes first round of that and then the next 40 minutes will be the second round of section b okay that's why we call it as two round method because we are going in a section in two rounds first round is like a marathon it's like a sprint we are just going from the first to the last very fast and along with that we are covering uh, we are answering also easy ones we are also marking down the questions which we know and we are also uh, you know exploring the question paper and the second round is like a marathon where we are going slowly every question one by one and we are answering them which we have marked okay so this is a smart way of go doing this question because see competitive exams are not done or they are not uh, you know they are not only going to judge your knowledge they are also judging your smartness okay so you have to be smart enough that's how you can beat the competition okay so yeah that's how you are going to do section b now you have uh, you have given 90 minutes to section c 60 minutes to section b 150 minutes are done paper is of 180 minutes still you have 30 minutes last 30 minutes in those last 30 minutes you can give it to section a you can use the same method in section a 10 minutes you can go through all the section a and then uh, rest 20 minutes you can solve it or it depends upon you you can go with the trivial method also for section a because section a uh, over there you don't have to solve every question unless and until you, you are good with aptitude you only have to do 5 to 10 questions from section a so that you can get a good score from there you can get a good supporting score uh, for your exam okay now i have given you a method i have uh, discussed with you in a way that we have started from section c it depends upon you in the exam you can start from section a section b section c any section whatever is your favorite one or whatever you will you want to start but i personally will suggest you that starting from section c is more effective because section c is highly scoring part when you sit in the exam your mind is fresh you have you know uh, your mind is not uh, tired that time so in that uh, 90 minutes you can give that to section c and while solving section c uh, while let's say deriving or while uh, you know uh, uh, like solving or while uh, recalling something you might remember some formula which can be used in section b also which i have seen many times it happens in exam so that's why section doing section c before section c is always useful but yeah it's up to you it's your choice whatever section you want to do first or second but in every section you can follow this two round method time i have already told you how to div uh, divide this first 30 minutes for section c then 60 minutes for second round section b first uh, 20 minutes for first round 40 minutes for second round section a first 10 minutes for first round and uh, next 20 minutes for uh, second round okay in this way you will be able to read every question you will be able to explore the question paper you will be able to judge which question has to be done which question has to be left you will be able to answer them more confidently remember confidence is very important when competitive exams comes okay so i hope this particular method is going to be useful you have le yeah, like i think you have one day more day left for the exam if you want to try this method you can try it for in any of the test series okay if you have just give it a quick test or just give it a quick uh, you know uh, try that whether it works good for you or not or you can directly try in the exam i can assure it is going to help okay and do let me know in the comment section after the exam also you can let me know in the comment section that whether this method or whether this a way of approaching the exam has helped you or not because your positive feedbacks helps the other student also to you know to have confidence in a particular uh, approach or in a particular strategy so that's all from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one Ta till then take care bye bye and uh, all the best for your exam and do well bye bye